just laid out for you It's pretty clear to see Nothing left to chance or mystery What's the point of living in a life already led? It's all been said and done and done and said Cause the rules are made to break And I'll choose my path I'll take these broken roads that's traveled the And look inside Grass may not be greener But don't waste no more time Grab the boo by the horns Enjoy the ride Cause the rules are made to break Yeah And I'll choose my path I'll take these broken roads that's trapped Okay, that was Vicky Mansa's new release, Fly, and in the studio with me, Vicky Mansa. Hello. Welcome to the Honky Tonk Cabin, Vicky. Hi, thank you very much for having me. You're very welcome. Tell us, what was the inspiration behind the song? So, I wrote Fly uh, with my good friend Adam Gillian, um, and basically I went to him and I said, I really, I really just want to write a song about not doing what society tells you to do and what ex what they expect you to do and that was like that was how we we came about it and we basically just um wrote loads of things that was going on in my life at the time of like oh this is what I should be doing by this age but no I don't want to do that I want to do something else and that's how the song came about it was just saying like no to all these timelines that society gives us and you have to do this by the time you're 30 and this by the time you're 40 and rah, 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 rah. and just going like no actually i'll make my own rules and i'll do what makes me happy um and forget about forget about that and just choose your own path so yeah that's how we wrote fly now you mentioned adam gillian there You've done songs with him, Nothing In Between? Yes, Nothing In Between. He um, he was featured on that, that single. But yeah, most of my music I write with Adam. Ah, uh, right. Okay. 
something I didn't know. Yeah. So that's always oh, good. he's my songwriting buddy. He's brilliant. But you're not only a singer, are you? You've been in West End shows, um, and I'm thinking, not your last one you were in, but also Rock of Ages. Yes. And one of my favourite ones, Beautiful, the oh, Carol King movie. It's mine too. I uh, love it. I, I love it. It's so great. Oh, gosh, I miss that show so much. Um, yeah, so I started off in Sunny Afternoon, the Kinks musical in town, and that was great. So I got to play guitar and banjo, and that was actually where, because I played guitar when I was a kid, and then when I went off and trained in musical theatre and, and doing all my acting and dancing, I just didn't have the time to pick up my guitar anymore. I was... I was training from eight till six, half six, seven, going off doing a night shift somewhere. And I just didn't have the time to pick it up. And Sunny Afternoon was what sort of uh, my my love for guitar and music was like reborn at that point. Um, so that was great. And then, yeah, I did Beautiful. And um, and then I love Beautiful so much that I did it again <laughs> on tour. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've uh, I've been very lucky and so done some very good shows. What's it like though doing a musical where you're doing how many shows a week? Ten shows a week? Uh, normally eight, sometimes nine. Um, that must be very demanding. Yeah, it's quite. It can be quite tiring. It can be quite tiring, but it's worth it. It's very, very worth it and very re rewarding. So and how does that fit in with you actually now being Vicky Mansur as a country singer and performing f as you yeah. rather than playing a part? Um, so, I mean, it's it's been brilliant because uh, when I did Six in town, I was very fortunate. I joined at a time where the show was just on a rise. It went up and up and up and up and up and um, gained so much traction and at that point, I wasn't really writing music. I wasn't releasing my own stuff. And then we obviously had the pandemic and I decided to write and release. Um, I finally had the confidence to do that, having done Beautiful, which was obviously about Carole King. So she's a brilliant songwriter. Um, and because I'd done Six, I found that I had the support that I needed to to just give me that little push and you know not not everybody that likes musical theatre likes country music but I think there is more of a link than people realise because country music is storytelling at the end of the day which is what musical theatre is so having that audience has actually been a big help with my music it's been great. Talking of, of Six because you played Catherine Howard I did I did yeah um you did a did a video release which was period dressed was that influenced by your performance in six or? no it wasn't but i mean it's a very good uh good link like it um tied in quite nicely but not uh it wasn't not on purpose <laughs> no let's, let's play let's play the video of that now and it's love me like the movies oh
mentioned Adam Gillian and he's your writing partner yeah. and as I said you did a video where he had he featured in it yes how was that song written what's the process you guys have nothing in between um, was we work very similarly each time we write a song um, but sometimes it switches which person does which bit so um, we're very much like this is the idea that I have, let's see what we've got. But occasionally there is a time where I will go and I will have a hook and I will have a sentence or a, a melody line. Um, on this instance, it was Adam that was like, I've got I've got this thing, all, all or nothing, but nothing in between. And I was like, oh, that's great. That's really good. Uh, so it was, so that was his idea, um, all or nothing, all, Oh my goodness. Oh, not nothing in between. You know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? Um, so that was his, that was his idea. And then we worked around that really. Um, and actually somehow still managed to link it to my personal life at the time. So I was like, Oh, this is fantastic. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. And that's how we got it. <laughs> Let's have a listen. Hey. <laughs> you left behind It's the same old scent that lingers on my sheets every time I'm wondering what it takes to make you stay Are you scared of falling like I have in every single way? It's all a game But I
we've spoke, spoken about releases and musical theatre. What got you into country music? Oh, I've always loved country music since I was a tiny tot because that's all my family listen to. It's country music. So my dad plays the guitar, my papa plays the banjo, my uncle plays the mandolin. So every family party... You've got a bluegrass band. Oh my goodness, yes. At bluegrass, we, we love it. Absolutely love it. Um, every family party, they would be playing, singing together, and I wanted in. I was like, oh, I want me some of that. I want to be able to join in. So I learnt the guitar and, and that was it. Um, so yeah, it's just always been there since I was since I was a bubba. Okay, which do you prefer, performing as an artist, as a, as a singer, or being in West End plays? <laughs> That's a horrible question. <laughs> Come on, How this is my interview. <laughs> answer they both have they both have their benefits in different ways but if i was to say right now in this present moment uh i love doing my own music and performing my own music that's really special to me but i suppose appearing on stage in a production pays the bills much more yes <laughs> absolutely you're not wrong <laughs> but the trouble i guess is you need to do the hard graph um, of doing the clubs and the dive bars and all the rest of it to build your reputation as a singer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing eight, nine performances a week in a play, you haven't got the time to do it or, yes. or the ability to do it at that time. Uh, this, is, this, is the, this is the thing that's going on in my head at the moment. It's like, when, when do I stop to give myself that time to, to really just try and get myself out there as much as possible? Um, without having the funds behind me to do it so yeah we'll see we'll see it's coming it's coming soon i think yeah because it, it's a bit like anything if if you're into musical theater and you're getting regular work if you pull yourself away getting back in mm -hmm. and onto that treadmill again is yeah. bloody hard work it's a big risk but at the end of the day that's what fly is about taking risks so uh, you've got to do it you've got to jump to see how you can play <laughs> And what made you go into musical theatre anyway? Um, I I've always loved um, dancing, singing, and acting when I when I was a kid as well. Uh, when I was when I was a, a child, I actually always just wanted to be a dancer. That was my thing. I was like, oh, I just want to dance. I just want to dance all the time. But I broke my leg when I was a child twice. Um, in exactly the same place. I'm not going to ask what you were doing to oh, break your leg. Honestly nothing exciting i tripped over a rock i you know apparently i i needed glasses or something because how you do that i don't know but um i i, I do um, it all the time <laughs> it was um yeah it was basically the second break ended up being at the time that i was doing a dance show and i couldn't obviously dance but i was well enough to walk again and my my dance teacher was like, well, why don't you sing something in the show instead? And and she gave me an acting role as well. And that's when I sort of realised, I was like, oh, there's so much more than just dancing. I'll be greedy and I'll do it all. And, and you're very fortunate if you can sing and you've got a great voice. So, oh, you know, that's you. great. That that's, opens up so much more possibilities to you oh, rather yeah. than just being a dancer. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, I teach um, at the moment for a, for a musical theatre college and... Uh, that's what I'm always saying to them, that the more strings to your bow you can get, the more employable you are, the more opportunities are going to open up for you. So do it all if you can. OK, now I've got to close out the show with another song, but I'm going to offer you the choice of Psycho or I Hate You. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, we've got to go Psycho. Absolutely. It's one hell of a video, I must admit. Yeah, do you like it? Oh, it. we had fun it's... doing that one, didn't we, Alex? So my, my manager sat behind me. He said, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had a lot of fun um, doing that one. It was um, it was great. First one that we did in a studio as well. So it was. I would say it was, uh, it was nice to be in the warm, but it was a freezing studio. <laughs> Sometimes they can be. At least yeah. it wasn't raining, though, and I wasn't changing in the middle of a field like Love Me Like the Movies. That yeah. was... That was fun. Yeah, when you're in, in the buildings there and it's horrible weather. It always gets me the, in these shots where people go into the sea in a bathing costume or whatever and you think, I bet that water's freezing cold. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah. And we filmed all my videos in the height of winter. I don't know why we do that. It's bad planning. <laughs> well, you're not doing gigs during the summer, that's why. That's very true. 
Yeah, very true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to say thank you, Vicky. That's thank you. Fabulous. And uh, good luck with the new release of Fly. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. <laughs>